I get to come to work every day and do exactly what I've always wanted to do is be an advocate for children. And I get to do it across the United States. This is Rita Sorenin. She's the president and CEO of the Dave Thomas Foundation for Adoption. Today, she's celebrating a huge accomplishment for the foundation. And we hit a milestone of 10,000 adoptions, 10,000 children who have been adopted through the Wendy's Wonderful Kids program. Rita says it's a goal that's been a long time coming, but she'll also tell you there are about 122,000 kids in foster care in the U.S. Already isolated because of the system, each one so much more than just a number. You want me as a story. The Scott family of the Dowls adopted three siblings from St. Louis through the foundation, it's been about a year since KGW's Brittany Falkers caught up with parents Mark and Celeste. Our kids had a hunger to add siblings, and so it was just a, it was just a bond from the very beginning. Our folks work really hard and um, look within each child's network to see if there's an option for a potential family for them. Sarah Copeland is the Director of Permanency Services for Portland-based Boys and Girls Aid. Thanks to grants from the foundation, 274 Oregon kids have found forever families. We really believe that no child is unadoptable and that every child deserves to have a permanent family no matter what their needs are. We can only do this in partnership and we can only do it when the public steps forward and understands that these children are in care, they need to be adopted and help us as well. Incredibly, they actually saw more adoptions last year than in 2019. In 2019, we finalized about 1,060 adoptions. In 2020, we, we finalized 1,097 adoptions. So we actually saw, um, we were holding steady. Now, would we have done more? Perhaps. But the fact that we held steady and it didn't go down was critically important to us. It's tough work, but fulfilling for both Rita and Sarah. The milestone of 10,000 adoptions, a reminder of the good that's being done, but there's still work to do. They need that human contact, that need, they need the assurance that adults are there fighting for them. John Goodwin, KGW News.